Hello, everybody. Welcome to another learning live stream with me, Christian Chella. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, a little earlier than my previous schedules, but I'm sure most of you are probably watching this afterwards anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, where I generally look at something kind of more creative than just pure technology. And today is definitely one of those. But before I get started, if you enjoy what you see, you can find more about me at kristenchiller.com, my new relaunch website, a bit more work to do there yet, but it's coming. And you're probably watching on YouTube, there's nowhere else. Subscribe, leave a comment, say hi. Always nice to hear from you. And I think I will probably hear from lots of you on today's subjects. What are they? I'm actually gonna do two applications. Yes, two. I did this on Monday as well and end up regretting it, but I think today will be different because they're different. I am going to be looking at two macOS-esque native. The native is the esque bit. They're definitely on macOS because I'm not, they might be cross-platform, I'm not sure. Um, AI image generation applications. This is a world that has been very busy recently. I did another video with my friend Killian, which you can find on the same YouTube channel, where we looked at some of these in the browser. And I'm going to look at desktop application versions of them. Let's jump into screen share. So these are the two I am going to look at. Amazing AI and Diffusion B. I think they're both stable diffusion. So this will be interesting comparisons. Now, one of them, I can't exactly remember which one, but does actually require downloading some model data. So let's open them up first and let them do their thing in the background before we go any further. This one looks like it's all ready to go. Yeah, so it must be. And there were two versions. Ah, here we go. That you can see here. There are different versions of some of these applications with different sized models as well. So this is two gig, but it says please make sure you have around eight gig of free space. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> so let's begin with Amazing AI then. So this is Amazing AI from Um It is just Mac OS. Generate images from text using stable diffusion. Um, you kind of see what these are developed exclusively for Apple Silicon. So it's obviously not cross-platform. Highly optimized and runs on the Apple neural engine. I wonder if we can get any insight into that in activity monitor. It's, I'm not sure if it features. No, it's on one of my other windows. Give me a second. I'm not sure if it's something that features. Um, Oh, it must be this, a and &E compiler service, maybe? Interesting. It's never, it's not really here listed as an option. Uh, you can see the time. I know there's other applications to show you what calls in Apple's being used and that kind of thing. I can also see that downloading this is hitting the um, frame rate of my stream a little. But it seems to be okay now. Uh, yeah, but we're not really seeing it here. I don't think there's any other way, but I'm going to assume it's this, but maybe we'll have another look at it later. Oof, yeah, getting a few bumps along the way here. Hopefully it's done soon. Yeah, it's probably this that's hurting it. But let's carry on with Amazing AI. Seems pretty straightforward. Um, let's uh, get that over here. Hide that for now, and hide that for now, pop this over here. So this is Amazing AI. The settings we have are include prompt and image metadata, and automatically save generated images. Okay, and I think that is about it. Yeah, and that just takes us to the same web page. So, okay. Highly optimized. Hmm, there we go. Interesting. Anyway, um, let's see. So I guess that probably takes us to the, oh no, here we go. It's slightly different. So images, the number of images to generate and the steps, speed versus quality. Let's pop it in the middle somewhere. Creativity to the prompt. Hmm. Okay, so 
I'm actually looking for a particular image at the moment uh, for something. <laughs> so I'm going to use that as an idea. Um, You may wonder why I want that, but I do. <laughs> Thank you, Pragmatic Polymath. Uh, at the moment, I am testing some uh, Mac OS desktop interfaces to stable diffusion. So I haven't got very far yet, so welcome. OK, let's see. Don't know if this is specific enough. And here's where it'd be in here's where you see activity monitor. Diffusion B back end. I honestly don't know if that is related or not. OBS is <laughs> hitting the CPU more than anything else. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if that neural engine thing was what we saw. It now seems to have vanished off the list. I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. We will take Amazing AI's word for the fact that it's optimized. Still taking a little bit of time here. Uh, I don't know if this is working. Well, okay. I don't know if this is working offline. Uh, what's Diffusion B? I'm not seeing any download for Amazing AI here. Uh, not seeing very much at all. So unless I downloaded something earlier and forgot about it, I guess it's running locally somehow. I don't see it at all. Strangely. Uh, okay. No, I must have, it must have downloaded everything locally. I don't know how big the, well, that's actually quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how big the file size is. Let's see. There's a way the window is open to me. It's 2.75 gig. So, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, that's quite cool. I actually wanted it more cartoony, but maybe I wasn't specific enough. So we'll leave that doing its thing right now. And we have some shortcuts to write a negative prompt. What to exclude? Okay. Metadata. There's a lot of metadata. You can view this in the finder, which is pretty cool. And that's basically it. Um, it's using an older version of Stable Diffusion, apparently. Um, yeah. And it doesn't have in painting or out painting, which Diffusion B does. So we'll come back to that in a second. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of other things here. Yeah. I'm not sure if I want to tempt fate by running both at the same time. So we'll give it a little bit longer. Uh, so I'm seeing kernel task and amazing eye are really hitting the CPU. I don't know that NKE, what was it? Neural engine? I don't know. Maybe that was completely unconnected. I'm not sure. Because now I don't see it. Oh, back please. <laughs> Let's pause that. I don't really want that right now. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was. It must have been something completely unconnected. We're still going. Yeah, that's not so cartoony. I mean, this isn't mid-journey. Mid-journey tends to come up with those more creative options. Uh, so what we get, if we click here, we can get download, uh, copy, or share, which is quite cool. I don't know what copy means. Copy what? So we can't get variants either. Copy seed. What does that mean? Let's see. Hmm, okay, I'm not sure what that means exactly. Well, that <laughs> looks kind of in pain, this one. I wonder if we could, oh, we can just stop the job. Okay, yeah, let's just stop the job. So a, let's say a four color carting chinchilla being hit by lightning and with a sharp look on its face. All right. Again, I don't know if I want to tempt fate by 
running uh, Diffusion B in the background, but uh, maybe we should. We can at least go and look at the preferences and things. So, this is Diffusion B. It's done. You can see it has a lot more options. It actually says, please close your applications for best speed. I won't uh, close this. I can't close OBS, but I do actually have Premiere open. A big old video editor, so maybe I should quit that. Give me a second. I'm pushing myself, I'm pushing the computer like you can do it. Normally it can, but probably not whilst doing things like this. What else have I got open that's quite large? Microsoft Teams, yeah, you know. <laughs> Apple Photos, what's everything? I think everything else is probably fine. Cool. All right. So, it has text to image, image to image. Interesting. In painting, art painting history. Now, there's a lot more to this. Let's have a look. This seems to have a lot more um, publicity. Um, download for Mac OS. It is, again, Mac OS only. Runs offline once you download your large image. Text to image, image to image. Modify existing images using text prompts. Interesting. In painting, that's where you can change parts of an image. Out painting, upscaling, custom models, advanced options, private, active community. So it's a lot more comprehensive. And then, yeah, we can do some of the out painting in a minute. Out painting and in painting, maybe it's, that doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe, oh, there we go, that was probably why. Help and tour, okay. Uh, yeah, let's come back to that in a second, I think. Anything else we might need? Oh, there's a video, we won't start watching. Oops, <laughs> videos. Okay, that'll do. Let's have a quick check-in on Amazing AI before we go any further. Yeah, it seems to have ignored the poor color. I'm not sure if that's um, even something that uh, Stable Diffusion works with. Like, this one's okay. It's a little more than I wanted, but... <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's... Um... I honestly don't think I should run both at the same time. Let's Let's... I can always, you know, I can always um, finesse this later for my own personal uh, <laughs> gain and profit instead of um, doing it here. I'm still interested to see if there's any. No, it's still just Diffusion B. Amazing AI has done next to nothing. Where is it downloading these from as well? Ah, Hugging Face. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, amazing AI is not on the network thing at all. So it's also offline, I guess. Oh, here we go, finally, 19 kilobytes. So it's not doing much online. Okay. I may let one more start in the meantime. Let's have a look at some of the settings for Diffusion B whilst we just wait. Uh, settings. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, fine. Uh, nothing up here either. So it's strange. The You have more options, but the application is kind of less developed. Prompt ideas. Oh, okay. Jeez, that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, yeah. This is a rather unfortunate, uh, damning example of the sorts of things that get generated. There you go. Um, styles. Ah, here we go. Now here's how we can maybe change. Ah, cartoon pen. Ah, interesting. Now this is quite useful. Help me refine what I want. Or color is going to get me nowhere. Comic book might be more what I want. So we can try that. And then options. Ah, here we know that's basically what we had before. All right. I think. Oh, see, so this is actually more like it but the background i would probably get rid of anyway let's stop that for now let's use the same prompt just to be um actually got some weird legs going on here but anyway let's use the same prompt for a fairness and then we'll refine it further so this is uh stable diffusion make it a bit larger we'll again go for four images Batch size, 
constitution, iteration, guidance, seed. Okay. Let's see. I like the fact it's spell checking me. It could be interpreting four color. Is there a chinchilla with four colors? I'm not sure. Let's see. Now let's have another look at um, CPU. Oh, Backblaze is still doing its thing. I know it stopped last week. MTL compiler service. I don't know if any of this is related, but here's Diffusion B here. I'm still not 100% sure how to detect if it's using the kind of internal um, neural engine cores of macOS or not. So it's a shame you can't really see that. You can't really see anything from here either. Nice. Well, it doesn't matter. Just a, an interesting thought experiment to see if that was possible. Ah, this is, yeah, I think it has interpreted the four colors in that particular way. That's okay. Okay, let's have a look at this whilst we're waiting. Ah, so this is much more cartoony by default. Styles, options, yeah, negative prompt. I think this is, we'll get to the other features. It's basically the same as before so far. I don't know what's, what's going on here, but I quite like it. It looks like it's casting lightning more than being hit by it. But that's cool. Yeah, it's more like the chinchilla is casting the lightning. It's very different, actually, which is interesting. I got one more coming. But I also I moved the prompt uh, more to matching my words than in Amazing AI, though. So maybe it's not completely fair. Uh, yeah. Well, quite. Let's let's start, let's get this styles right then. So a hmm, line art is probably what we want. A line art cartoon chinchilla being hit by lightning with a shot look on its face. That seems to have been largely ignored so far. The view, you kind of want to... Uh, hmm. Portrait, I guess? I wonder if there's an example to see what they mean. Uh, emotions. Not shocked though. <laughs> I don't know who these are. By Michelangelo, I know who that is. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's see. I should actually let's uh, tweak the. Uh, was it tweak here? No. Let's tweak the. How closely to follow? Lower numbers give the AI more creativity. Oh, I suppose that is, let's put it more into what I asked for then. There we go. Okay. Let's see what we get. I don't know what this means. Second per iteration, I guess. Some more the style I was after, but I don't see where the lightning is. <laughs> Maybe the being hit by lightning is causing confusion. This is actually kind of more like I wanted, but this still doesn't look like lightning. I don't know. It got. It got. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's, it's got worse, bizarrely. The portrait uh, seemed to ruin it. Actually, yeah. There's no lightning here. Uh, let's get rid of portrait. Maybe dial that down again. Uh, let's see. Is it cartoon chinchilla. A shot look on its face and let's try that. 
I'm also because we've said, oh no, there is color in that line art. And we can get line art with color. Dot art, doodle, no. Intelligent for sketch. Ah, a cartoon, I guess, sketch. I don't know if the order really matters, but it makes me feel better. Let's try this. Right. Has anyone else tried Diffusion B? I mean, it's just a wrapper around Stable Diffusion, but I quite like it. I don't know when the models get updated. We'll come to that in a second. I'm still not seeing this lightning. I don't know where the lightning's gone. <laughs> it's the annoying one. Yeah, the lightning seems to have just vanished completely. I've spelt lightning, right? Haven't I? Maybe I should say hit by lightning. Okay, let's try that because this is not really getting anywhere. Okay, let's see. A cartoon sketch, chinchilla, hit by... I wonder if... No, it's spelled correctly, okay. Put an extra E in there somewhere. Try with a shocked look. I'm. I, it's probably fairly, uh, fairly reliable that um, there aren't many images in its training of a chinchilla with a shocked look because they tend to have the same kind of fairly mellow look most of the time. <laughs> but we'll see. I could be uh, barking up the wrong tree. Chinchilla uh, trivia here. That's what their sound is called. Barking. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm enjoying myself. It's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not getting anywhere. No, I don't know where this uh, lightning has gone. Still, still not particularly heavy. Well, this looks like an electron application, which is interesting. Let's see, whilst we're waiting. Actually, that's not what I meant to do. What I meant to do was, let's see. Um, yeah, that's interesting. It's Electron, which is odd because that doesn't feel like it's gonna be the most uh, native to me. And, It's not. Amazing AI isn't. Which is a shame. It should be more optimized than really. But it has less options available. So, hmm. I may come back to it in a second and see what we get. And honestly, these were actually slightly more close to the prompt, though. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is sort of getting nowhere. So, <laughs> yeah, interesting. Um, save, upscale, send to image, image, send to in paint. I think these are different services. I'm not sure. Yeah. Hmm. Let's carry on for now. Not really getting anywhere. This was actually the best result so far, really. Could probably refine it. Actually, no, what I was going to do, let's um, take that one into here now and see what we get. In the meantime, we'll have a look at some of these other features. So, image to image. So the example here is we've got this picture and then. Huh. Well, let's maybe take. I don't know, this. <laughs> and what do we want to do? So I'm going to start a rough script sketch. So um, let's say, yeah. Uh, 
portrait of a very fluffy chinchilla looking screen um, in a field. I have no idea if that's too weird, but um, we'll see. Got a bad feeling I may start killing the stream here. No, seemingly not. <laughs> I do like apple silicon. Yeah, barely a sweat. Don't know why I dropped the frames earlier. I think I was just downloading. Oh, nothing's really happening. Okay, that looks worse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. That actually looks worse. Um, hmm, what else could I use? I've got any better images. I mean, this example is. What else could I? You know, what I could do. I could um, draw something. I have to think. What what can I draw quickly in <laughs> without with minimal effort? Um, I mean, that looked like a sketch to me, but maybe not. Uh, that one was very odd. Um, I always love the made-up language you get in um, these pictures. What on earth is this stuff here? I don't know. I quite like this, but it doesn't match the description at all. Um, what do I have? I must have something. The thing is, I tend to do most of my illustrations in Procreate, which is on the iPad. So... <laughs> Can't get to them. Um, maybe we can uh, raid the internet. These look pretty good, but um, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, anyway, this will do. It's a YouTube thumbnail. I think that's probably perfect. I don't know what this is, but we'll yes. see if it can cope. Okay, so we'll try something similar. Um, picture of um, high mountains with small hills in the foreground. Uh, it full stops, no, and a blue sky. I think these extra words you put afterwards are maybe important. Let's see. Still feel like sometimes it's a bit of hit and miss, but uh, we'll see. Okay. In the meantime, so these are much more accurate. I mean, it, it still doesn't look very shocked, but they're more accurate. I still quite like this one the most. Do any of you? I would go off and compare to Mid Journey, but that's probably a little bit wandering. Okay, let's see what we get from here. And I think we'll still just. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah, okay. Uh, this detailed, realistic that they have here is not what I'm getting here. This looks kind of worse, to be honest with you. They're not really hills, maybe. Maybe this. Let's try this. <laughs> this I like. This one. Again, it, it doesn't look like lightning. It's just like quite a grumpy chinchilla, but I quite like it. Um, I do like this one, actually. I think I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> I quite like this one as well. It doesn't really suit the prompt, but I quite like it. The rest are a bit odd. I like that one for its sternness, and I like this one for its oddness. There we go. Okay. Ah, see, that's 
better. It's not really realistic, but it's better. It's turned the cloud into trees as well. But I kind of like it. Anyway, in painting. So click to add input image. I guess let's have a look. Maybe we can just send it right to it. Uh, add an image. Can we? Because I did see here. Is that? Yes, it is. Okay. So. Precise, but let's um, let's see. See, the nice thing you can do with some of the other tools is then take one you like and finesse it. And that's the thing I'm kind of missing here. But there. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't exactly know what happened there. Uh, so let's try again. Let's maybe see if we can just replace all of this area. I'd really love to know, discuss this with my show with Killian, like where these fake words come from. Um, violet? No. <laughs> Violent. Whoa. Kind of what's there at the moment. I will admit that when we were trying these image generators, Stable Diffusion was the least impressive to me. I wonder, I was exposed to some of this for ChatGPT yesterday. Let's see. I don't think there are any other ways to use Midjourney apart from Discord. Let's see. You have to use the Discord app, basically. So, I mean, it's kind of a Mac app. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Okay, all right, fine. Outpainting to expand an image to a larger area. Okay, so let's go back. I don't know. What do we want to expand? I don't even want to expand any of this. Um, hmm. Now I'm gonna try one of these more successful prompts. I do apologize, we're probably gonna get some rather horrendous images again. Yeah, um, let's try and find one that's not quite so. Uh, here we go, this one. Oh hum, I thought that's the kind of stuff you get, but there we go. Arctic, is that supposed to be Arctic or artistic? I think artistic. I love it how I can't seem to get anything, but prompts even with typos can uh, can get things. So this has got a lot more detail. Maybe I think this is half the thing. You have to really experiment quite a lot. Might be worth 
feeding this into here as well. I think I should try Arctic as well. I might uh, wait a moment until I... I mean, it seemed to cope earlier, so why the hell not? Boom! All the power. Look at that. CPU. Barely, barely sweating. OBS is using more CPU. Boom! Neural engine. Whoa. Etc. Anyway. Um, yeah. This idle process from native instruments is doing poor cool work. <laughs> It's amazing how you can use the same prompt and get different results from the example. Anyway, I'm just trying to use this to do outpainting. Yeah, you see these are nicer. Maybe I need to be more verbose. Right, let's see what this one's come up with. I've got a, uh, I do like this one. <laughs> I do like that. This looks kind of old and grumpy. Suits me. I hear that it's, it's making a, a boop noise in my headphones every time it finishes. So these are fairly good examples. Um, so I probably would take like this tree and outpaint it, but I think I have to... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, the in-painting, you can take it into the prompt without painting. It looks like I have to download it first. So, uh, let's. What am I trying to do here? Oh, you just highlight the. Exp ah, I see. Uh, let's reset. Um, so I want to, I'm slightly confused here. This doesn't really seem to look like the same as the screenshot there. So that's the image. Ah, there we go. Okay. So let's expand that part. Uh, okay. And let's say, um, grassy plains. Uh, and the C, I don't know, let's see. So we're adding it to that image. I don't know if it's gonna be very kind of abrupt. This doesn't actually show you the result. So <laughs> uh, let's see, in the meantime, what's going on here? Hmm. Yeah, this is taking a very different approach. It's not the fastest thing to do. In history, we have previously generated images, and that's basically it. And then we can actually use different models. So there could be better models suited to what we want to do. Yeah, that kind of works. Okay, so it did just kind of whack it on. It doesn't really, um, doesn't really look quite the same at all, to be honest with you, but yeah. And then we can see history, yeah. Actually, oh, that's pretty. That's actually quite cool because you can see where things went wrong. <laughs> it's a shame that this is Electron. Apparently, anyway, there you go. And here's the other ones here. It's odd though because it's only available for Mac, but I don't see any reason for that. know why it's optimized when yeah I'm thinking if I can find this is actually yeah that's actually kind of more the style I want <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay yeah so you can start to see how you could get this to work I might have one more 
try. Uh, that was the best. But we never got the lightning, which is odd. Oh no, here we go, we did. Four colour seem to work the best in this case. Even though it's somewhat irrelevant. Let's try again. So a four colour cartoon chinchilla hit by lightning with a shocked look. Um oh, I don't know. What else can we add in? Sketch. Naive. I don't really know what that means, but it, it seems appropriate. Maybe. I don't know why it seems appropriate, but it does. Uh, cartoon, comic book. Horrifying. Uh, that, that seems dangerous. <laughs> Let's try one more time here. Well, this one looks very kind of determined more than shocked. Now would be of course interesting to go back to Amazing AI. It does talk about uh, do you plan to support this? Ah, oh, yeah, let's do this to use it instead. Hmm. Yep. Shortcut support. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's really strange how and uh Ooh, Gunther. I don't know. If I could um get that text. This is kind of the right style, but I don't know what this is in the background. <laughs> Maybe that's the four colour thing again. I don't know why that seems to be a bit hit and miss in terms of what it returns. This is actually almost perfect, and then if I could add the lightning to it, that's something I could do uh, out painting or in painting with. I don't know what's going on there. It's like playing a xylophone. So let's um, let's try one last time here. But I think we're ready to wrap up whilst that's doing its thing. Uh, and I will show you when we come back. So, I was looking at Diffusion B and Amazing AI, two sort of macOS desktop applications for stable diffusion. Uh, Amazing AI is probably the better application. It's more optimized for macOS and Apple Silicon, but it has less features. Diffusion B has more features and is less optimized. I think you probably use combinations of the two, maybe. Um, but there you go. And so they have their advantages, disadvantages. Both are free. Um, so there's no harm in trying them, I suppose, uh, and just seeing what you can do. So try them. Post your results <laughs> in the comments and the prompts you used. Good to see. If you enjoyed this video, you can find more about me at christinchiller.com. You can also subscribe, leave a comment, say hi where you're watching this, which is YouTube. And I will be back on Friday for something quite different, which will be a live play of the Lone Wolf um, True Your Own Adventure style books. And I'll be back next week with tech and creative tech projects. But before I go, let's jump back to see some of the final results. So we saw that. And here, now this is, it's getting there, actually. <laughs> it's getting there. Close. Okay.
Also, whilst we're here, I'm interested to see if if yep and no amazing AI is in the app store okay so there is a homebrew formula for diffusion B um, but not amazing AI but that's in the app store so that gets updated anyway oh I like that it is not what I asked for, but I like it. It looks a little bit similar to the other one, the same pose. I do like it. I also wonder, I'm going to save these just to be sure. But much like um, Diffusion B has that history, if I close the application, are the images still stored? Let's find out. I'm also wondering, where are these saving to our pictures? So what are the file names? the prompt with oh, they're quite large as well wow now i see the details there <laughs> there's always this sort of blurriness smudginess in a lot of these pictures though that's a bit like the other one we saw as well I think I will stop. I just want to see if, if we quit. Let's see. No, there's, it's gone. So you have to make sure you save them. All right. As I said, that was me. That was Christian Chiller. Keep an eye on YouTube on my website for the schedule. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much for joining me.